Hello and welcome to this LT Spice training video, which goes through the main steps necessary when carrying out signal chain noise analysis on LT Spice. This video will go through the options available when building a signal chain from start to finish, how to add components from the library, generating your own op-amp models or copying from a previous design, how to easily run simulations and extract the key information from the results. For this LT Spice training video, analysis will be carried out by selecting a signal chain from the Precision Wide Bandwidth portfolio that is optimized for noise, bandwidth and power. This signal chain can be found on the Precision Wide Bandwidth Signal Chains webpage on analog.com as shown. LT Spice will be used to build the signal chain from scratch and enable full analysis of the highlighted signal chain. To start the analysis from scratch, simply open the LT Spice application. Begin by clicking the New Schematic from the File menu as shown. We use this as the starting point for the signal chain featured in this video. There are many different ways of adding new components. This video will focus on three. Adding from the library. Copying a component from another schematic. Generating an op-amp model from the .cior file that is available on the amplifier product page on analog.com. To add a component from the library, click on the component symbol in the toolbar at the top of the page as shown. For this video, the ADC model is being inserted. Type in the part name. A number of options will then be available. 1. Open the macro model for the test fixture. 2. Insert the component directly by selecting it and then click the OK button. If the macro model is selected, a sample test bench for the selected component will be available to be copied into your schematic as shown. To copy a component from a schematic, first open the current schematic. Once open, go to the File menu. Click Open and select the file to copy from as shown. Press the CTRL-C keys and using the mouse select the components to be copied. Then click on the tab of the schematic being worked on. Click on the location where the part is to be placed. This is particularly useful when copying from a macro model of a component. It is important to ensure that all relevant information is copied from the macro model, including any references, dot model, or dot subcircuit statements. To generate an LT Spice op amp model from the dot CIR file available on the analog.com product page, click the LT Spice button underneath the datasheet button as shown. Review and agree to the license agreement. Once agreed, a .cir file will automatically download. This file contains a .subcircuit statement, which defines the component by the collection of circuitry of intrinsic SPICE devices. Open this file in LT SPICE and create a new symbol for the component. This can be done by placing the cursor on the line that includes the first dot subcircuit statement as shown. Right click this statement and select the Create Symbol option from the menu. LT Spice will create a symbol for the component using the description by the given dot subcircuit statement. This component will then be available in the component library in the auto-generated tab and can be easily added to a schematic like any other component from the library. 
Once the complete signal chain is built, the next step is to configure the simulation for the analysis. To do this, click the Simulate tab and select Edit Simulation command at the bottom of the menu as shown. The Edit Simulation command pop-up window will appear on screen. Displayed are many different simulation options available in LT Spice. This video tutorial will focus on the noise analysis. For this, click the Noise tab as shown. Fill in the parameters required for analysis. Key parameters include output node, input voltage source, a type of sweep required, number of points per decade, as well as start and stop frequencies. To ensure all noise is taken into consideration, allow for a wide interval between the start and stop frequencies. When done, press OK to begin the analysis of the circuit select run as shown. Probe the output note which was listed in parameters. As we are analysing the RMS noise, probe the output node of the circuit. The resulting graph representing the output is presented. The RMS noise can be easily extracted by holding the control key and clicking on the graph title as shown. A pop-up window should appear, displaying the RMS noise as well as the input start and stop frequencies. And so, the full noise analysis has been carried out. To learn more, watch the next in our Precision Signal Chain Platforms video training series. Click on the link below or visit analog.com slash precision.